Hey traders, welcome back to this technical series of videos. Today we're going to talk about the bull flag and probably the bear flag as well. Same thing, but flipped on its head, but it's a little bit differences. As with these kind of things, this is my take on it. And I'm going to look at the textbook as well. And between the two of them, we're going to put it on the whiteboard, talk about the logic behind it, not just the official line of the pattern, but also the way that I perceive uh, what is happening with the buyers and sellers because for me that's important if you've got another take on it if you think this is a good pattern or a bad pattern or there's a little twist that you use for your trading that works very well stick it in the comments below we'd we'll love to hear what you think about the bull flag and the bear flag pattern so as always let's have a look what the textbook says about the bull flag it basically says it's a bullish flag a bullish flag formations are found in stocks which could be any market right with stock strong uptrends they're called bull flags because the pattern resembles a flag on a pole it does indeed the pole is a result of the vertical rise in the stock and the flag results from a period of consolidation it goes on and on and on here but let's draw it and let's talk about it so for me the bull flag and by the way this is one of my favorite patterns i love these in fact i prefer bear flags in a bear market but bull flags in a bull market or an uptrend just as good you've got a drive higher you've got a consolidation at highs and then in theory you get a break up through the high there and the flag is this part here so this is your flag and this is your pole and as you can see it kind of resembles you know a flagpole whatever flag you happen to have on the pole. So that's why it's called a bull flag. So what is it? Let's let's look and dig into it a little bit more and work out what it all means. And I'm gonna try and do one a little bit better. Um, that's not much better, is it? But hey, let's work on both of them. So um, in fact, I didn't wanna draw that straight away. Let me do that again. Bear with me while I do this one, guys. So pull up here, there, right. So the point is you've got the initial drive and that's the important thing with the flag. And like any of these patterns, the important thing, or the, the extra important thing, is what's happened before this flag. It's very, uh, an easy trap to fall into to kind of isolate this and then not it put it in perspective of where we are. Now, if this had happened, let's say the most perfect example for this would be a, a reprice scenario. So something's come out, uh, Fed's come out, a non-farm payroll's come out, a stock has perhaps broken out of a long-term resistance, earnings, uh, good volume, uh, that kind of thing. That is beautiful. And then you've, you've broken above your, your resistance level and then you have this pattern all aboard it. I love that kind of thing. If it's in the middle of a range and it's choppy, it doesn't become as powerful. It's not as effective, right? So always putting in perspective. So let's analyze exactly what's happened. So this is the initial move. For me, one, uh, one here, whatever we can do on both, they're pretty identical, is the initial move. And here is where you kind of get a bit of a stalling. In other words, buyers are backing off the throttle. They don't perceive it as much more value or they don't want to keep paying up and chasing this thing. They've chased it all the way up here. Tick, 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 tick. Every buyer is a seller, of course, but the buyers are paying up, paying up, paying up, paying up. Sellers are backing off, backing off, backing off. Some point here, whatever's happened, either sellers have become more aggressive and have said, you know what, that's enough. I think it's good value. I'm gonna put all my order on the offer here. Buyers have backed off and said, I've paid up quite enough. My average is here or new buyers are coming and are not so keen, whatever it may be. You get this kind of consolidation now. In other words, where it backs off, buyers become very aggressive very quickly, backs off, buyers become aggressive very quickly, which brings me to a good point that the tighter of the flag for me, the more powerful it is, because that is meaning that there is not much disagreement in the value. That is still considered high value for buyers. If buyers aren't waiting for it to dip any lower, or if it's not getting, if you think about a group of people, let's say five or six people, and they're all willing to buy, as soon as it comes down, as soon as someone steps forward, and they buy it, that caused the price to go back up. If they're all a little bit shy about it and what weren't too certain that it was a good buy, that price might come down even lower and lower and lower and lower and lower until someone steps up. However, it comes down just a little bit before someone steps up, you can consider or, or perceive or, um, or what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for here? You could kind of take an opinion that that is quite an in-demand market or stock. So that's the point in that. So comes up, it tests again, it tests again. You might have multiple tests. To me, it doesn't matter how many times that that's tested, whether that's one, two, three, four, five, whatever, seven could be a long, uh, cautiously, the long, if it's a really long bull flag, 
I'd be very careful with it because it kind of almost goes into the thing of it's an acceptance of a level. If buyers aren't getting aggressive, the quicker, the more aggressive they are, the quicker they are to step up to the plate, the better. So the idea is now that you, you kind of get that agreement, uh, buyers think it's really good value, and at some point they can't wait anymore or whoever was sit, selling it here backs off and you get a breakthrough there. Now, I'm sure in the textbooks, there is something, I'm not gonna get out, read it all again, but I'm sure something about the diff, diff, distance of the pole here is how you can extrapolate the distance there. Personally, I've never really used that. If you think that's a good way of doing it, and if you agree with that kind of strategy of there's your pole, and that's what you use as your price target, let me know if that works for you and that's effective. I prefer to kind of look at it and see when momentum is running out, use some other tools to gauge that. So that's the bull flag. That's uh, kind of the pattern. Same with the bear flag, same thing. We push the downside, we flag, and then we break through lows. Now, very quickly, I don't want to go through this too, too long for you guys, but I like this with a flag. Pushes up flags, attempts to break lower, uh-uh, bang. I, I just love that so much because you've got momentum there. One, bang, aggression. You've got a tight flag here. Yes, great tries to push lower, fails, nothing happens, sellers just get rejected straight away and you straighten it. And what I love about that more than anything is the fact that I can quantify my risk. There's my low point. I can say, thank you very much. That's my exit if it doesn't work. I can go in, I can get extra aggressive here, add here, even add on the breakout if I'm feeling really aggressive with the stock. By that time, I've got one, two, three batches. I'm all aboard. As it breaks out, I can scale out into, or I can look for swing trade, hold it for longer, whatever my thesis is. But from a day trading perspective, that's great. From a swing trading perspective, that's great too, because it gives you a little bit of a leg up and and this is so key because this is giving you such a window into the psyche of the buyers and sellers hey it's gone a little bit lower here and straight away someone's gone in and slammed the slam that offer straight away they've not messed about with it they've gone right i want that i'm buying it up we go and of course that momentum causes you to break out through the high so that's your bull flag that's your bear flag um a little bit different to pennants we'll talk about pennants and stuff uh, in a later video if you agree with just put pen on my thumb if you agree with this leave a comment below if you disagree you have a different kind of take on it then also leave a comment below I'd love to hear how you integrate with your trading and little nuances that you use and, and how it works for you or doesn't work for you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because there's more videos coming in the next week and months from me talking about technical trading discipline psychology strategy all that good stuff so take care guys good trading see you in the next one